Toya Graham pulling her teenage son off the street is one of the most iconic moments of the Baltimore riots. Well, today marks six months since Freddie Gray died after being arrested by police. In the days that followed, unrest erupted around the city. Jeff Pegues is at Baltimore's Mondawmin Mall, where rioters, including Toya's son, faced off with the officers. Jeff, good morning. Good morning. This is where the riots began. It was a Monday afternoon. High school students had just gotten out of class, and that was happening as Freddie Gray's funeral was wrapping up. It was that combination of factors that sparked the riots here. Nearly six months later, Baltimore is still recovering. Even a mother who was hailed for being a hero can't find peace. Just this morning, uh, I broke down, and, you know, I... It's just, it's hard. It's hard. Toya Graham says she's struggling to keep her home. Even though money is tight, she's trying to remain optimistic for her children. I know a lot of mothers out here understand where I'm coming from. We're struggling. Um, we're struggling. We're trying to make sure uh, we keep food on our table for our children, keep them out of harm's way, uh, keep, keep them out of danger. Watch out, watch out. That is her greatest challenge. Last May, the single mother of six was caught on camera repeatedly slapping her 16-year-old son, Michael. He was dressed in black with his face covered, and he had joined the rioters. Forget the National Guard, send in the moms, they're calling you hero mom. Toya was celebrated for doing the right thing. What was he saying to you? And appeared on CBS this morning. Okay, ma. Do you feel like hero mom? Why not? I don't feel like a hero mom. Uh, I never did. You know, I never did. Uh, he's my son. And so if I have to um, be out there to stop him from doing things that he shouldn't be doing, then that's what I'm going to do. She's like a lot of mothers and fathers in this embattled city. Six months after the riots, Baltimore is still reeling. Anthony Batts, the police commissioner during the riots, has been fired. The mayor who fired him has announced that she will not seek another term as a wave of violence grips the city. So far in 2015, there have been 267 homicides, a more than 50% spike over last year at the same time. In addition, the number of people injured due to gun violence is nearly 80% higher. When the sun goes down, do you feel safe? out here on the streets at night? Um, no, because it's dangerous out at night. Um, you got to keep watching your surroundings, like looking around you and see if there's anybody that's going to harm you. Toya's son, Michael, admits he's scared. I lost two of my friends. They was gunned down in a um, store on Liberty Heights and Garrison. How does that affect you? You might wake up one day or you might not wake up one day. Um, you never know what's going to happen next. Toya Graham, the woman who dragged her son out of the riots, now holds him even closer than she did before. He's a good boy. I'm 43 years old, and I know it's nothing out there but harm. But as a 16-year-old, he want to be outside. And you understand that? I do understand it. But you want to protect him? But I'm going to protect him. You get on the subway right there. I just don't, I don't feel like a hero. Like, this is, this is a real struggle. When the cameras is gone, like, the reality of life is still there. It's still there. And there were more shootings in this city over the weekend. Later today, the city council here will vote to give the interim police commissioner the job permanently. The hope is that he will provide stability after so much uncertainty. Nora. Jeff, thanks. You know, yeah, she symbolizes exactly what is at the heart of this struggle. Yep. Moms and struggling like that with, with their kids. And that despite all the public attention that, that they got at the time, there are still issues that have not changed. A in lot Baltimore. of issues in Baltimore. She wanted to make. Yeah.